I want Blitz to say again. Anyway, um, this is like more like a job advice video. This is for this is mainly for brown people or aka black people or the minority or the very dirt cheap people of every single color. This is not for stupid people, but you know, laws. Who cares? I'm I can want to be solo everything, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, here's an advice: when a person tell you to do a job you love. Take it with a grain of salt. As in, don't spend the next one billion years trying to get that one job and have someone to threaten to fire you and you are demonetizing yourself or demoralizing your own standards to keep that job. That's a brainwashing section. Do not struggle to keep a job. When you work a job, it's supposed to be easy. If you do your thing, then they have nothing to say or no one else to be hassling you, especially when you're doing your thing. If they are, then that's not a good job you want to be in or a good environment you want to be in. It's more of a good environment. Man, just quit that job and go to another one. It's just it is easy out even with a family. Just quit that job and go to another one. Like I said, I stay with most people and I told them that they quit the job and went to get another one and they got another one. It's as pointless to work a job where you struggle to keep it because nine out of ten you're gonna lose that job anyway, whether it be six months, six days, or a year. And you will struggle to keep that job so long. Once you lose that job, as I've seen people. You are stuck on that one job. You can't work any other job, and you do more stupid stuff to attain yourself. Don't need to keep a job where you are struggling to keep it, that job. Especially when there are countless jobs out there. You may not see the countless jobs, but they are out there. Now, when I say countless jobs, I mean, if you like serving burgers, great. But Burger King is not the only place you need to work at. For the rest of your life, there are KFC, McDonald's, freaking Sonic. There are countless other locations you can go to to get a job. And then you do not need to work at a restaurant or a fast food place. There are restaurants that will help serve burger. You don't even need to stick in that category. You can go do culinary and open up your own restaurant. I don't call it Burger King 2.0 or something. Who knows? And then there are other categories where you can work as a baker if you like serving food and stuff. What I'm saying is, do not get stuck on a particular category, or a particular brand of work, or a particular trade, or a particular category where you are suffering longer in it. It is a a waste of time on your end. Cause no matter what you're gonna do, it can be a day, two day, three days, or was it thirty years, and then you're gonna end up getting fired or quit that job anyway it goes. Or you're going to retire from that job and go to do another job anyway. But you're going to do another job that you have no idea and you are going to suffer even more so prior to that job. Because you had to put up that bull crap just to keep that job. It's basically what I'm saying is it's a waste of time. If you didn't have douchebag people, since it's 99.99% of people are. But if you had douchebag people at that job... And you put up with it, fine. But if you have a douchebag employer who gives you like a super hard time, you're not going to keep that job for long because that employer can just drill you in till you quit that job. This is what I say. But yeah, it, it, it don't happen to me because I'm one grudgy person. I will quit that job just to go work for a competitor. And you say you can't work for the competitor? Too bad. Legal around that mug. Yes, there are a lot of legal loopholes people don't know about. You don't know about it, but they do, which they're doing you. And loophole is a illegal action, but it's a loophole anyway. Whatever. Like, I don't know, for me, what was it? I went medical lab tech assistance first as a first official job. And then I went to uh, do construction after that. That was around 16. And then I went into the military. Dumbest choice, but I went into the military anyway. I sort of just freaking went to job course. So in Great hard plane to another state like I was going to and like put like I know hundred dollars for a general membership, a hundred dollars for a class and the rest into again my transfer qualifications just kept doing that path. Like I already did that anyway, it goes. It was already done. And I did it again anyway. So it just totally wasted my time, you know. I literally cracked list the whole list up. I went from labor ready, general skill skill trade, 
biotechnology, computers, freaking architecture, civil engineer, drop the planner, electronics, all that stuff. I don't have many problems getting any form of job when I was working. My main problem was not having a car, which I had to get a car anyway, so I got my car. Congrats. But what I'm saying is, if you get stuck doing a one job, you, of course you're not going to have a job. Because there's no categories. Now the presidents of every area say, oh, we lower the freaking job unemployment rate. No, you haven't. The job unemployment has been high, but they have always been a huge amount of jobs. It's just douchebag employees doing douchebag things to make people lose it or not hire people. It's always be that way. It will always be that way. Wait, according to y'all, it was always there. Middle finger to all y'all. But anyway, um, basically, usually there are more than one category in the city. If you can do one category, go learn it. Pay the qualification for it. You gotta A, spend all your money to get the qualification to get the job, or B, don't get that job, lose all your money anyway, and then go home. Just, which one do you wanna do? It's not, well, there's not that much big of a risk. I've seen a lot of people go homeless, yes. Not just brown people, Caucasian people, Latino, and Asians, yes. You guys are may not, yes, I told y'all, relax. Brown people may not have Caucasian peach people privilege, but you guys are not on the A team. Congrats. I would say you didn't bomb like rest, but even then, y'all still got more privileges. Who cares? Better finger to all. Trust to all. But anyway, it doesn't change the fact that certain jobs are not meant to be work forever in the first place. It especially depends on your personality. Like, I say no. Anyone under the age of 17 should not work at McDonald's for 40 years. That's just me. 40 years, or this is just like as a job to keep your whole life as a full time 8 hour or 16 or 12 hour job, or Kmart or Walmart or freaking general labor like a labor ready or a freaking personal staff agent or a freaking. The reason why I say that because this I say those jobs are meant for people on the 18 because they're just starting out in life, give them work experience. That's a job that should be give them the work experience, have money in their pocket, or teach them how to do taxes. Because the school system is pretty stupid. Actually, I'll take that back. School system in a rich area or a good area are stupid, but okay for the elite A team. If you're on B team, C team, or D team, or a crap team, don't care. But the school is in the crap area. You had to be on the A team, or you just nothing. And you, like I said, I be up here on my team. I don't care. I get mine one way or another. But it doesn't change the facts. Those are jobs, something like for people under the age of 18 who had never worked before to get their hands experience in working. Get those four hours in. Two hours, three hours, eight hours. Yeah, you had to pay tax, don't you? Yeah. You worked an eight-hour job. I don't know, what was it? Minimum wage is like seven twenty five. I don't know, minimum wage to change. I don't know. Seven twenty five dollars an hour and you're like, you know, you just made about $80 that week. You had to pay like $70 tax and $5 to your parents. Yeah. Congrats. That's what we go through as adults. How do you like that? Well, the world sucks. Congrats. But anyway, any job like out there, 18, that's like that in those areas, those are meant for college students or retired people who are disabled and they wanted that extra money, just that bit extra money to put in their pocket. That's a job that, sh that should work. Or people who are in college who's doing full-time college or part-time stuff, just get that extra money. Any other job like that, any job at that should not be a job you work like. Social work is crazy. I talk to social workers all the time. They say like, yeah, this job is stressful. Yeah, DMV, I would never work at a DMV. I would A, smack a person yelling at me or B, smack the DMV person behind the desk. Like the DMV up here. When I first came up here, I transferred my drivers for another state. I put down 220 pounds because that was my weight when I flew up here. Yeah, I was 220 pounds when I flew up here. The person put down 131. This is I know I was being set up ahead of time, but no, whatever. Anyway, I was nearly halfway about the elbow chop the person, but like, no, you're not like yeah, yeah, I am. I know my weight, but whatever. Oh, uh, freaking stuff like that. Like there are certain jobs that are not meant to be worked for forty or twenty or thirty years, especially as older and mature you get, because that is due to the cost of living expensive 
Yes, even though minimum wage rise higher, your pay does not rise higher than, you know, unless you get the like $8 raise, you are still paying the same proportion ratio to everything else. Yes, you went from making $10 to $11. Actually, this is New York and Massachusetts and freaking Florida, like at $8 or $9 or $10. Who knows? Or 11 Yes, you live in New York. You went from making, or Texas, you went from making $12 an hour to $13. That is the minimum wage. Congrats. You still have like, I know, $800 rent. You still have car insurance, like $100. That's if you have a clean worker. You still have food for one person who is at minimum, like, I know, a proper meal of life, which is three course meals a day with water and all that stuff. Three course meals, like, I know, one person, I know, Texas, like, a good thousand two hundred dollars. That's if you go to the cheapest location and not get the proper amount of food. And then, or New York, that's way more in New York or Alaska. And then you have freaking bills, tax, bills, tax, stupid stuff, bills, tax. And then after you get all that done, you still have to have personal, which I call ourselves humans, fake ones, humans. Personal fake human entertainment video. I don't know. You still have all that to do. Because, A, I don't know what y'all call yourself, but you say humans are social animals. I don't know how y'all world leave itself, but no matter what, y'all are going to put personal interest before y'all needs. I know I put my personal need before my interest in the first place, which is why I'm here. But like I said, I need you to tea back, people. It's kind of part of me. But anyway. If y'all gonna push out personal wants before y'all needs, then you need to have personal interests. Which is why I say, if you're gonna make less on this job, you're gonna get fired anyway, or you're not making enough money, why well, work a job? Work that job, look for another job while you work in that job. And then, if you get that job, set a time frame to quit that job, get set up to get your last check, and transition over to another job where you are having one pay to another pay. If you like me, just quit the job, not even worry about the next job, and then go for the next job after. That's just me, but that's when I was working. I, did, I just don't care. I don't have time for it. I have like zero patience with the bull crap. Or stupid people in one area. Usually, I close line people, throw them off bridges, teabag them, send them to jail, or teabag them again when they get out of jail. Or just go across the street, beat the crap, but I'm teabag them, send them to jail again, and then wait for it, wait for it. I have no need. Then I go somewhere else. Then I get another job. That's just me. I don't have time for it. I have like zero tolerance for that crap. Literally. I will kick a person who pointed a gun at me right into the road, suplex them on the car that's coming to run both of us up, hop back up, and proceed to this the next, the rest of the group. That's just me. I have zero tolerance. Literal zero. Mm. Mm. Where's that red button at? Crap. Came to the state to look for the red button. Still not here. Oh, it's here. Okay. Whatever. Anyway, job-wise, don't even waste your time at that job. While you work in that job, look for another job. Or while you work in job, put your need before your interest and pay for something that'll make you more money later on. Or else you're going to be stuck in a vicious cycle where you make money, where you make $100, but you need to pay $500 off later. So you're basically under what you're making. That's basically what the state is trying to do to me, but I'm not the one. Literally, I'll be going in the middle of another planet and make my own civilization. I'll just teabag the rest of y'all. But that is my advice to y'all. There's no need to waste a time at a job just to not make a increase of profit where you have an add-ons. That's part of one that's finance one financing one on one. If you are earning a dollar, you should turn that dollar to two dollars and make more money. Man, I don't do drugs or I lick a trade, but if you're gonna sell drugs, you should at least turn in what they call it flipping three to a million and then flip a million to a quadrillion something. I'm just saying there's no retirement pay in being a gang member mafia member or freaking there's no retirement pay and being in all of those or freaking bullcrap criminals or freaking kkk the only pay you get from kkk is get friends and then when you go down you go down by yourself you better hope you don't butt rip you in jail because trust you're not even safe in jail either even though you're in the group 
you are still the weakest link of that group. I mean, you be the one being over first. Congrats. Don't go in the military, because the military is even more crap than in jail. Military is basically an A team, a B team, a C team, and if you can screw, get screwed over, they will screw you over. Congrats. That's everywhere. I don't see how people tell me the government is going to get you know. The government is not a big walking, one walking, talking to buy me. I already dealt with the government by me. I backhand that prick. The government is just a group of people who supposedly come together and make their own stuff. For me, you are dealing with people, fake human, humans who do their own interests. It does not matter. Therefore, if you're going to go in the military, my advice is going to the Coast Guard or the Air Reserve. Coast National Guard? Whatever. Go into the Coast Guard, then go to active duty. Totally stupid. Or if you go active duty, try to do a two year contract. Don't do like a six, eight, what was, what was the guy? A guy when I went in, did a 20 year contract. He didn't even last six months. Literally didn't even last six months. Law. But anyway. Even though he had like a 200 grand bonus. Yeah, stupid stuff. Anyway, try not to go into the military should be a last resort. A last resort. And that even not even that's not even considered going to the military. Then again, in this place might end up like Vietnam did. Or what it one two or one. A freaking the uh, Civil War and freaking American Independence War. Heck, you can always go to Cuba and Africa and get drafted anyway, or China. Or Korea. Anyway it goes. Trust me, I tried to go to Africa my second time. They kicked me right at that mug. I got off the airport and they sent me right back. I wonder how they knew I was going to sink the country into the ocean. Hmm. Who knows? Anyway. Laws. Ugh. What is it? Yeah. When you work a job and you don't like it. This is advice someone gave me, which I renew her time. Try to look for another job while doing that. And if you find the category of jobs you want, but you don't have the proper qualification, since you need a doctoral degree to work at every single job you have, kiss a whole bunch of anuses and brown nose to God mode on them. Like, I mean, literally brown nose, you touch the freaking throat. But try to use that money you get to pay for qualifications. And then when you get the qualification, get tiny experience on your own, and then go, like, yeah, I'm going to apply for this job. Then my interview, I work the job. And you start, like, oh, no. One job, you get paid on the first of one month, and you start the job the first of next month. So you get your pay from that first of the job. You work on that freaking, I don't know, a week out from the job or two weeks out from that end of the month, quit that job. You ready to get your pay whenever that pay come in, then freaking, I don't know, prep yourself for the next job. You don't want to be working those freaking swing shifts like I did. I don't know, 12 hours in the morning, go to sleep, get called in, and then you wake up like at 1 a.m. just to work another 12 hours. Expecting to get like a good 24 hours off, get called in at 6, freaking 7 hour perks. Yes. That's the civilian world, but it's also the military, extremely military, and that does destroy your body. It creates bipolarism because it changes your chemistry inside your body. Congrats. You don't, well, I can, well, I was already trained for that. My body was already doing that because, like I said, I trained myself from a child up. The fact that the military defeated my, they didn't defeat my training. I had to lower myself just to do that stuff. Pricks. And, you know. And it's pricks. There's only thing I can say. And I get out. I finally got it readjusted, sort of. And then I have to work more jobs. It does the exact same thing, but it's just as stupid. And just bipolar from bipolar 3 to bipolar 4. Great stuff. Like literally, or was it? My cells. I don't know if they're not dipole, but they're like quadpole, meaning that I can have high estrogen, be in a sad mood, by being incredibly strong. Or I can have high estrogen. Be in a sad mood, have breasts, and be still be incredibly strong. Or I can be in a sad, depressed, coward, punk mode, and still hit hard. Or I can be in a very good mode and still be strong. Like there's no, there's no time of me wherever I hit soft. If I hit someone soft, 
it means I'm holding back on you not to explode your insides. That's what that means. That's what my bipolar means, basically. This is why I tell people, right, when I have high estrogen, I work out the best. Uh, when I work out, I build more, what is it? I have more quality over quantity. You don't see it, but it's there, trust. This is why I like my training growing up. Like in elementary school, I punch trees, people. Come on now. Or middle or high school. I do upside down sit-ups and I squat on my toes. I am incredibly strong. Don't worry about it. Or up till now. Like I said before. Or if I have like super high testosterone, you will see a lot of muscles. And then also that muscle go to breast and then breast go back to muscles. And then you will never see breast again, even with high estrogens. Never. But like I said. Oh. Vice for work. If you're going to do graveyard shift, get your body adjusted. Don't swing into a day shift. If you're going to do day shift, do everything you need at nighttime, not the morning because you're prepping for it. If you're going to do freaking night shift, get everything done in morning, not daytime. If you're going to do swing shift, you're stupid. Have fun with that. Don't do it for long. I'm out.